This general science practice test question for the ASVAB and PICAT says, if both parents of a child are carriers of a recessive allele for a disorder, what is the probability of their child getting it? So in this case, we're going to use what's called a Punnett square to solve it. And of course, you probably used a Punnett square at some point in your biology class. More specifically, I'm going to put the dad over here and the mom over here. What's more, I'm going to say that capital D means there's no disorder. Lowercase d means that the disorder is either recessive or present. And we'll talk about that in just a minute. Uh, so let's talk about genotypes. If someone has the genotype capital D, capital D, that means there's no presence of the disorder whatsoever in their genotype. If someone has the genotype capital D, lowercase d, that means they're a recessive carrier of the disorder. They don't have the disorder themselves, but they have the genes that can possibly cause someone to have that disorder. And if someone has the genotype lowercase d, lowercase d, that means they have the disorder. So they have it. Now let's go ahead and fill in the Punnett square here. Again, both the dad and mom are recessive carriers of this disorder. So they don't have the disorder, but they have the genes that can contribute to someone having it. So the dad's genotype is capital D, lowercase d. The mom's genotype is capital D, lowercase d. Let's fill in the Punnett square now. In this first box, we have big D, big D. This means that this person has no genes for this disorder whatsoever. In this second box, we have capital D from the dad, lowercase d from the mom. That means that this person is a recessive carrier of the disorder. In this third box, we get a capital D from the mom and a lowercase d from the dad. As I just said, this means that this person is a recessive carrier of this disorder. They don't have it, but they can contribute to someone else having it. And in this fourth and final box, the dad gives us a small d and the mom gives us a small d. This genotype means that the person has the disorder. And as you can see, this occurs in one out of the four boxes. One-fourth is the same thing as 25%. So this one is 